Seven Shades is about Sam Hicks. He is the youngest of seven outlaw brothers, um, probably the only one with any morals, although still quite loose morals. And he's trying to fight his way out from under the influence and try and uh, help his sister. In the end, he'll confront his destiny, uh, which is entwined with the supernatural menace held within the town of Seven Shades. He's the youngest of um, the Outlaw Brothers, and um, he's always been used and bullied and made to feel worthless. He's not trusted by his brothers because he's the only, well, he's the mostly decent one out of all of them, and he's the youngest. He's not exactly in the uh, pecking order, so they've basically used him for odd jobs um, that they don't want to do. It's about him leaving their shadow and becoming a man, really. Um, the writing process for Seven Shades is quite different than um, most comics I've worked on. With this book, um, it tends to start in the pub. Dave has enough ideas, probably, to write all the comics in the rest of human history. So he kind of gives me kind of the sort of things that he's thinking about. Then we sort of thrash it out between us to get it into the shape of a plot for each story arc. I go away and essentially write Marvel style. Because it's fully painted, that's the, the best way to work, really. And for a book where the original idea came from the artist, it felt like the, the best way to work together. And it's been really good fun. It's easy in an independent book to just throw loads of ideas against the wall. But I think what we've tried to do then is going to give it a narrative um, through line um, and make it all hold together. I would say personally in issue three um, of the first mini-series, that's where you kind of start to see that there's um, there's a bit more depth to the story than just the kind of humour and the supernatural elements. Because when P and I met, we sat down in the pub. I think one of the first things on the table was, <coughs> who are we going to write this for? And we initially just said, to be fair, we don't care if anyone reads it, we're going to write it for ourselves. And I think because of that, I think that's where its main strength is. The future issues of Seven Shades, um, so we've got planned out, I think, seven story arcs, and then between each arc there's going to be a, a one-shot. So I can tell you about the next issue, it should be coming out in November. Basically we're focusing on the, the Seven Bells, the ladies that work in the saloon, and they're kind of giving you some of their backstory. But it also still moves Sam's story forward as well, so it's a good way. If people haven't picked up the first four issues, they could read this as a standalone, but at the same time if you have read the first four issues, it gives you a really good idea of kind of where we're heading in the second arc.